Hi everybody, this is Secution. I hope y'all are having a nice day. Give me just a sec. I'm making sure everything is working here today. Making sure everything is working it here is. today. Awesome. Hope y'all are having a nice evening. Um, I was going to stream earlier, but I got caught up with some things and I just did not have the time. So instead we're going to stream now. Um, I'm really excited for this game. I don't usually pick games based on trailers. Um, but I was really curious about this because I saw the trailer for it. So it's called Bookwalker. Um, it looked really cool. I don't know if the actual game is cool, but there was a free demo of it. So I figured I'm like, let's try it out. Uh, for the record, we do have a new area in the tower. Let me see here. Ha ha. So this is the library in the tower. Um, so the Bookwalker, um, <laughs> It looks like you like walk into books and book worlds. Like the trailer's really cool. I, I would show it, but it's a little long and I don't want to get in trouble for showing game trailers. Um, so, but yeah, the, the tower, tower does have a library. Um, I hang out in here sometimes and read. I like books. Uh, so we're going to play Bookwalker. Uh, give me just a sec. Let me add our game capture. Let's see, we're going to do capture specific window and audio output capture. Okay, that should work. So I'm going to test this out and we're going to see how it goes. Wish me luck. We're trying a new scene. We're trying a new game. It's all very exciting. I can't find my shortcut to my game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Where did I put the game? Ah, there it is. The Bookwalker. Okay. Do my best. <laughs> um, oh, I gotta change this. Give me one sec, everybody. All right, we're gonna do game capture. And the bookwalker. And it's not working. Why are we not working? Let's. Oh, no, it does work. Okay. But you can't see me. That's not good. I want to, I want to be, I want you to see me too. Uh, okay. All right, and my game sound isn't capturing. Why? One sec, everybody. I'm just checking something here. One sec, everybody. Okay, so the game sound is capturing. Uh, let me play with our options here. We're gonna do... I'm gonna turn the volume down just a bit because that can be a little much. And let me get out of y'all's way here. Uh, I'm not sure where to go because I've been playing Nexum. I'm gonna go over here. It's like, they don't usually hang out over here. <laughs> okay, let's do new game. Again, this is a demo. This is not the full game. Um, it's on Steam. I was really excited by the trailer. Finally, I'm home. Oh. Ooh, okay. Um, sounds like old man Henry is in the shower. Ah, old man Henry's in the... I wanna, I wanna look around. What's this? Are you expecting anyone, honey? No, mother. Could it be the mailman? This early? Go see who it is. There's a man there, mother. Is the door locked? I don't... It's our neighbor. Henry? No, Mother, the writer, remember? Don't open the door. He has no business coming around here. But what if he needs help? Is he injured or something? I don't think so. He just looks a little roughed up. He can take care of himself. You can't be too careful around these parts, even when it comes to neighbors. Fine. Alright. This is a... I, it's pretty. I like it so far. Uh, what's this? Kitchen. 
The kitchen is still a work in progress. It's been months. All right. Can I just leave? I guess we should see what's going on. What's this? First, confiscation of property, now eviction. Can I go in? Oh, wait. What's this? Mr. Ateen Quist. Uh, Quist. This is a reminder that you may begin working off your sentence at any time by registering with any licensed publishing agency. In the event your work off, you work off the full sentence, you will be released from preventative measure in the form of shackles that impose writer's block on you. Oh my god, that's horrible. Any other attempts to remove the shackles other than those provided for by law will be considered a violation of your sentence and will entail consequences. Your sentence will be reexamined with aggravating circumstances. They use the word circumstances a lot. Uh, City Writers Police Department. They need to hire a writer because they use the word circumstances a lot. Hello? Hi. Hello? Uh, yes? Vince asked me to get you in touch with you. It's about your arrest. We usually offer a small loan to writers who have their licenses revoked with interest. Once you get back on your feet, you can... That's not why I was trying to find you. I wanted to know. I've heard you can break the writer's shackles. Is that true? Breaking writer's shackles is one of those the most highly punishable, punishable crimes under writer's law. Let's say that we can break them. However, the price for this service varies based on how complex the shackles are. Sound of flipping through pages. Are yours the standard two-year kind? No, my shackles are on for 30 years. <laughs> Noise to the phone. Damn, I spilled... Hey, hey, get this out of here. My god, 30 years. I think we can figure something out, but the price will be, let's say, six jobs? Not many. But Vince said it'd be a one-time thing. Vince should have warned me that he was sending me a particularly dangerous criminal. Have you done this kind of work before? No. Do you know what to do? Yes. Good. Your first job is waiting at the door. Oh. Uh, I want to look at stuff. Independent Bookstore, letter by letter, has announced that it will be pulling all of Etienne Quist's work from sale. The store's owner, Raymond Fuqua, commented, Unfortunately, Mr. Quist's writing license has been revoked. We sincerely apologize to his fans, as Mr. Quist's books enjoyed a certain popularity. I do hope that Mr. Quist can solve the problems he is facing, and that we'll have his books back on the shelves as soon as possible. Alrighty. The bathroom door... The bath, they lock your door because you can't pay for your water? Where am I supposed to pee? It's too late to go to bed. Alright. The neighbors across the way moved out recently. Okay. I want to look around my apartment. Get my way door. Ooh. That's some nice windows. Bunch of spots where I guess pictures used to be. Alright. What's this? Ah, hello, box. I now. I need to put this on the desk. All right. There you go. Open. The sound design's really good. Ooh. Uh, what do we have here? Potion of immortality. I have to steal a potion of immortality? Hold on. All right, so we gotta steal. So this, the trailer made this game look like it's gonna be like you're jumping into books and doing heists. Ooh, they didn't take the portrait of Frederick. Okay, so that's Frederick. I was wondering if that was us. Um, the contractor agrees to infiltrate the book A Drop of Infinity by Jonathan Bowers and extract an item, a bottle of magical potion of immortality. Okay. The commissioner agrees to pay the negotiated sum upon fulfillment of the contract. Okay, what's well, all this? Hmm. The author of this book? Okay. Doesn't say anything else. An excerpt from the book review. I like the narration. I like that the narration was from the point of the view of the book's supposed villain, but the characters fighting against him just aren't interesting enough in comparison. I also enjoyed the ending, sappy as it was. Fair enough. What's this? Looks like 
looks like that's where the stolen item goes. Okay. Drop of infinity. Jail cell. Oof. Crunch. Ow, damn it. Landing on a solid stone floor makes your bad knee twist awkwardly. Uh, use ink to heal yourself. You reach down and touch your bad knee. You start visualizing the ink flowing into the injured joint and healing it. A sudden icy cold feeling seizes your wrist. Ow. I forgot about these stupid shackles. You examine the metal bracelets around your wrist and the writing etched on their surface. Now I'm just as weak as a plain old character. You are unable to heal your knee. Uh, can I pop my knee back into place? You take a deep breath and sharply wrench your knee to the side. Ah! Oh no! Oh! Oh, I hate the sound. Oh, that's awful. Oh. Okay. Ouch, damn it. You bend your knee this way that a few times testing it. The crunching sound has stopped. Whew. Anyway, let's get down to business. I need to find the potion of immortality and take it out of here. Okay, so we lost some health. Uh, nothing but bones. Uh, mushrooms? Take them. Uh, contains 10 ink. They don't look edible. There's absolutely no reason to risk it. Fair enough. Uh, old barrel. I doubt a potion of immortality is just going to be lying around inside an ordinary barrel. Kick the barrel. Take that, and that. I'm taking all the stuff. Uh, ooh, crowbar parts. Protruding, ah, okay, this game has secrets. A note. If you're lucky, they might test a potion of immortality on you. What is there to think about? Just say yes. Okay, so this will heal us. Well, let's eat that. Crowbar parts. Pieces of rusty metal awaiting their transformation on a workbench. Uh, trash. That's ink. Okay, so uh, we can't use ink yet. Alright. Oh, note. Name. Jason Little. Age 28. Potion P4. Causes unpredictable mutations. Uh, results unpredictable. Client, the Kingdom of Ruber. Unknown use. Product, volume, one unit. Okay. Steel helmet. What's that do? Whoa, two heads. This really is a weird jail. Uh, okay, so there's crafting parts. Fine. Door to hallway. It's locked. A lockpick sure would come in handy right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had a lockpick or something. Like one at least. I need to go back to reality and check my apartment. Uh, hold to... Oh, okay. Alright, so we gotta find a lockpick in our apartment. Um, uh, lockpick. Ah! Hmm. I will take that. Thank you. Back into the book. I was kind of worried because, um, when I was downloading the demo, like, the trailer looked one way. The trailer looked like the overworld. Um, and then the download kind of looked like this. So I was like, oh, is it going to be use lockpick? You slowly test all the pins in the lock with your lockpick until you finally hear a click. Ha ha. Um, which is fine, but I was like, I don't like when games make one thing look completely different than it's actually going to be. He's dead. Your gaze travels up the wound on the walker's temple. This looks like a bullet hole. The capsule around the dead man's neck starts vibrating. And you hear a soft voice coming from inside. Nice one, Sherlock. Uh, who are you? Sorry for interrupting you. You were saying something about my partner here. Go ahead and continue. He's your partner? We were on our first job, but it didn't end well. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Who are you? A character? Yes, I think so, sir. But you know that you're a character. Of course. That's impossible. You try and use the light to illuminate the contents of the cage, but all you see is a scrap of paper. That's what all my past partners said, too. 
past partners. How many have you had? I don't mean to brag, but apparently the walkers were very interested in my abilities. I fetched a considerable price, and frequently too. Okay, and then I ended up with a partner who died. Right. Fortunately, I was then found by a new partner, and we started working together as a team. Hmm. Wait, are you claiming your new partner? That's correct. I'm sure we'll work well together, sir. Uh... Yeah, sure. I'll hang you around my neck for now, then figure out what to do with you later. Wonderful, I'm back in business. Alright. You can talk to Roderick at any time. Uh... Your cage reminds me of something. You turn it over and over in your hands until you get a glance at your shackles where they're sticking up from your rolled up sleeves. That's it, your cage is made from the same metal as my shackles. Hmm? And what does that mean? I'm not sure, but I think that since metal keeps my power contained, it's also keeping you from merging with the book. Merging? Yes, if a character goes into a book, they become part of it. I can get out, but it's difficult even for me. An ordinary character wouldn't be able to. They'd also be influenced by the plot and forget any intentions of their own. So this is a convenient way to transport characters. Definitely convenient. Taking a character out of a book without a cage like that would be a serious crime. You glance instinctively at the bottom of the cage and notice a new inscription. Serial number 27200. Hmm. Okay. Um, Salvador. They clearly didn't want him running off. Uh, put your ear to the wall. Dead silence, but something tickles your ear. You feel the slightest hint of an air current flowing through the crack. Uh, this is a sledgehammer shop. I agree, but there's no mention of one in this book. Are you sure? I've read it five times already. I'll go back to reality and find one then. Oh, you know someone outside of the book who has a sledgehammer? I mean, I can ask my neighbors, not sure they'll be happy to see me, but my last partner was always complaining that he had no one to turn to in reality, that it was pointless to go there for help. That's kind of sad. Um, anyways, I'll be back soon with a sledgehammer, I hope. All right, let's look around a little bit more. Ooh, apple, crowbar parts, we'll take all that. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else. Okay, let's look around more, because, like... Uh, okay. Okay, so we can't look around too much. We have to kind of do what the game wants us to do. Fair enough. Okay, uh, let's see. Sledgehammer. Excuse me, are you home? Who's that knocking? I'm your neighbor. Would you mind opening the door? I need your help. Yeah, right. I'm no idiot. Get out of here before I call the police. So many unsavory types hanging around these parts. I just wanted to ask you, do you happen to have a sledgehammer? A sledgehammer? Yes. There's this stubborn nail I can't hammer in. What kind of nail is that? You need a whole sledgehammer. It's a really big nail. It's a really big nail. Nothing but a slim chamber will work. I just need it for a few hours. I promise I'll bring it back safe and sound. Damn, fine. Let me go look. Ooh. Okay. Here, just don't break it. Oh. Thank you. I like that you jump between worlds. Like, the overworld design is really nice, and, like, it it runs really, really well. Um, the demo is not big, either. Like, I was looking at another game, and the demo was, like, 50 gigs, and, like, I am not downloading a 50 gig demo. No way. Okay. Got a sledgehammer. Knock it down with the hammer. Bam. The hammer slips out of your hand a little, and your blow glances off the wall. You sense a stare hitting you from the capsule around your neck. You don't want him to start laughing at you. Boom. You hit the wall more confidently this time. The blow smashes through the wall, widening the gap enough for you to squeeze through. Okay. What's this? Alchemy ingredient. I will take that. Uh, component green salt, an alchemy ingredient. 
contact with skin causes itching and inflammation, so always wear a glove. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, burnt papers. I will take those. Anything else that we can get at in here? Doesn't seem like it. I really like this game. It's very, very cool so far. Um, let's go in here. Alright, cell door. I'm guessing that each of the cells is going to have some... Ooh, shell cell. Barrel. More crowbar parts. I will take those. Chain. The chain leads down somewhere. You could use something as heavy as a counterweight to raise whatever's on the other side. Use the prisoner's helmet. Empty bottle. Alright. I like it. I like it. A bed... Chewed straight through. Okay, well, we got a bottle. And we got some apples and some burnt papers. I'm wondering, like, what ink does. It seems like ink would give us special powers, but we don't have the ability to use it right now. That is a big skeleton. You may drag some objects around. Damn, he's big. His name was Brian. Did you know him? No, but you can read about him on the sign in the hallway. Sure, next time I'm here. Uh, small barrel. Coins, we'll take those. Papers, take all that. Ah. Ah. Take whatever that is. What else did we get? What's this? Uh, it's rags. Okay. Strange cable. There's an ordinary power cable running through a hole in the wall. Hold on, what's a power cable doing in an old-timey jail? That's the book's big twist. I didn't want to ruin it for you. Uh, feel where it leads to. The cable extends far into the darkness. What's back there? Hmm. I don't really want to go yanking up power cables to things I don't know about. That seems like a way to be the dead. Grab the... Mm, touch the key with one finger. Ow! The key falls down through the grate. A faint click echoes from down below. Why'd you do that? How was I supposed to know it would be that hot? You could have asked me. I already read this book several times, cover to cover. What do you mean by read it? You can see the text of your own book? This isn't my book. Okay, but wait, so this means you know everything about this place? I can find anything you need to know in that text, and I can also warn you of any traps or danger. You turn around and look at the dead walker, if the danger is described in the book. Alright, so you know where, the po where to find the potion of immortality I'm looking for. Yes, it's in the alchemist's pocket. And where's the alchemist? In his laboratory to the south. Great. We can forget about the key. I'll go straight to the alchemist. No need to waste time. Uh, what's this sign say? Name George Hammerstell. Potion tested Eater 12. A mutation that allowed the subject to consume all known materials. Fair enough. Brian Little. Uh, potion tested Gigantus 1. Proportional growth. The kingdom of Surator. Military use. Mass production. 100. Oh, someone's making giants. Someone's making giants for their army. Uh, name Max Benderston. Potion tested Rosset 16. Partial restoration of limbs, but full immortality has still not been achieved. Alright. Ladder down. Aha! It opens the front door, which is the only way up, so you need it. I feel like there must be some kind of catch. I can check in the text if you want. Uh, ask for help. Alright, can you check just in case? Of course, I'll be glad to. You really rise? Mm, here it is. The key isn't hot. You should be able to pick it up just fine. Great. As soon as your fingers close around the key, a wild howling echoes up from the depths of the jail. 
Your hand shakes in the key as though waiting for the opportunity falls out of your grasp and down through the grate. What the hell is that? It's better you don't know. Well, that sounds cheery. I'll take whatever these are. Take that too. Urn of Ashes. Okay, ooh, a workbench. You see a worn out workbench. You can make tools here if you need to. I would like to do that. Can, can I? Okay, the game's probably gonna give me a crafting thing. Greg, it seems the alchemist has sped up work on his potion. The corpses are hitting the floor faster one after another. Uh, stay for the night shift tonight. He promised to pay double. Alright. Uh, I will take all that. Take whatever that is. A hatch. The hatch leads to the boiler room. Do you have anything you can use to pry it open? Um, where am I supposed to get a crowbar? They don't just leave crowbars lying around in places like this, you know. The last room had a decent looking workbench. You might be able to cobble something together resembling a crowbar. I'll give it a shot. This is a really cool game. Uh, these pipes lead down to the boiler room. Wait a minute, I can drag this. I don't know why, but I could try that. So that's a thing. All right, let's go to the workbench. You see a worn out workbench. Craft something. Uh, tool. Okay, so I need tools. Okay, so we gotta find some tools. Nope, not what I meant to do. What's this door? Barrel. Crowbar parts. I will take those. Okay, let's go back up. Helmets. Watch out. Huh? Did you hear that? What are you talking about? Oh no. Uh okay. Uh drain 30 ink, one damage. Two to three damage, fifteen ink. You see the enemy's next move above it. Enemies will act after your turn is over. Ow. Okay, so there's combat in this game. You were amazing. Thank you. Are you alright? Did that thing frighten you? No. You try to appear unaffected. I've seen more of those spiders than I can even count. I just don't quite understand what a giant spider is doing in this book. It's not in the text. It's an ink eater. They're found in books, but they're not part of the plot. The older the book, the more likely you are to run into them. Why do they look like spiders? Apparently just to scare... Um, they can actually take on any form. Even human form? You shudder again more intensely this time. Let's not think about that. I hope there aren't any more in this book. All right, uh, I have an apple, so we will eat that. Let's see, papers. Musty papers. Ah, testing area, open case. Okay, what the? I told you about the big twist in the book, right? Hold on, where's the alchemist? Is that him in the chair? No, the alchemist went upstairs while you were busy digging around. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, open case. A gun case. Missing a gun. 
I can hear you walking around. Is that you again, jerk? I'm not drinking any more of your crap. Uh, examine the prisoner? A division t-shirt full of bullet holes. Mm, what does that tell us? If that's a band, I've never heard of them. Forget the band logo. The holes. His shirt's full of holes. Uh, they tested the potion of immortality on him? Finally. Uh, hi there. Who the hell are you? You're not the alchemist. Are you his assistant or something? I'll show you. Just untie my hands. Get ready for a world of hurt. The prisoner tries to break out of his shackles, or more precisely, he pretends to try and breaks out of them. Or, and break out of them. Uh, it seems like he's more afraid of you than you are of him. The alchemist's long gone. I'm here on my own business. What other business do you have? Why don't you just set me free? Uh... What band is on your t-shirt? Oh, that? No idea. I took it off some guy. Why is your t-shirt full of holes? That asshole shot me. The alchemist? Yeah, the alchemist freak. He was going on and on about all this weird stuff. He talked like he was from the Dark Ages or something. I don't understand most of what he said. So what did he do to you? He gave me some nasty drink. It tastes like... Ever tried Orange Bowl? No. Well, it tasted a lot like that. Was that a product placement just now? Did they get paid to put that in the book? Come on, focus. Anyway, he forced that potion down my throat and then he shot me. I had never been in pain like that before. It was like my whole body was... He shot you. You look at the shell casing on the table with 47 caliber bullets, but you're still alive. Uh-huh. Guess that never occurred to me. Uh, how'd you end up here? What do you think? Someone kidnapped me. What was the last thing you remember? Uh, I was at a bar, the cathedral, you know it? No. The owner paid a hell of a lot to have the guys from Reversi recreate St. Bernard's Cathedral. Okay. Nowadays, every jackass with some cash wants to recreate something. The price there makes your eyes water, but how many chances do you get to drink in a cathedral that hasn't existed for a thousand years? Uh, what kind of beer do you drink? What do you usually drink? How about we stay focused? I'm an unfiltered lager guy. Were you with anyone, or were you alone? Uh, at first, yeah, then some guy came and sat with me. The alchemist? Nah. Probably someone working for him. Said he was a scientist from college or something? I don't know. That's all I remember. Then I woke up here. You sure that's a good idea? Why not? I think your appearance might scare him. Look it over it. You slowly unwind the rope and then pull the sack off the prisoner's head. Just don't panic. Oh my god, what the hell are you? I warned you. Hey, now calm down. I'm just a human. Like you. Well, almost. Are you an alien? No. But that's not important now. Don't distract me. What are you going to do? Don't leave me here. Uh, I'll come back for you in a second. Let's look around here. Take this. Uh, tool. Ooh, we got all the stuff. Workbench. What do we got over here? More stuff. Uh, raised ladder. Alright. I'm not gonna leave this dude. Uh... I free him. Uh, hi there. Try and free him. I'll tell you right now, the book says you can't. I have to at least try. You walk behind the prisoner, examine his handcuffs around the wrists. Uh, use the lockpick to unlock the handcuffs? You start probing around the lock with the lockpick, but quickly realize it's far too complex. I told you, you won't be able to open the handcuffs in this book. Damn, fine. I guess I don't have a choice. Uh, okay. Well, I can't help you, uh, but we can maybe make a crowbar. a very engaging game. They've done a great job. Uh, craft whatever this is. Alright. Exit. Oh, ink is how we power our attacks. Okay, that's cool. Uh, hatch. Open with the crowbar. 
Hello. Uh, pieces of metal. Furnace. There's something in the furnace. It's a crystal. Stop it with the spoilers already. I want to find out for myself. Fine. Uh, you, your arm definitely won't fit through the bars. Use the crowbar to grab the crystal. You poke the crowbar through and move it from side to side, but the crystal doesn't budge. Damn it, I can't reach it. You let a drop of your blood, ink, fall onto the bars. The tiny portion of the world is now under your control. Are you sure it's a good idea to use ink with those shackles on? I can handle it for a little bit. You pull the bars apart with your bare hands. The bars move easily, bending to your will. You'll never believe it. There's a crystal in here. Isn't that something, Roderick? You grin, looking down at the cage. Huh? Roderick? I've decided to call you that. It has a nice ring to it. Excuse me, I have my own name, you know. But you said you don't remember it. I never said that. So, do you know what your name is? It's definitely had an H in it. Hugh? I'm not sure. I don't like the name Hugh. You're Roderick now. Maybe it would have been better off staying with my last partner. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, where's this door go? Ah. Pick up the key. Slowly, carefully, you pick the key up from the floor. You suddenly turn your head, looking around for signs of a disturbance. The room is still and silent. You finally have the key. It's covered in ash and quite cold to the touch. Well, you can never be too careful, right? And most importantly, you can open the front door now. I don't know if that's the most important thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. What the? Again? So it's not a real jail? It's real, but stop. No spoilers. Fine. Crates? Filled with ashes. Okay. Why are there so many ashes? Ashes and bullet casings. Greg, I saw someone in the crematorium last night. Either a thief got in somehow, or one of the alchemist immortality experiments worked. In any case, be careful. Okay, so the ashes are, I'm assuming, from the failed experiments. Pieces of metal. Okay, we can't do anything with buckets of ashes. Continue. What's up? You sensing something? Yeah, whatever's ahead is not pleasant. If you have anything you can use to heal yourself, I do that now. Got it. I am already healed. An old letter. All the stored jewels and food shall be given to Victoria of Brahmin, daughter of Esmond III, after no more than three days. Alchemy Master Alexander of Mitia. Mitia? Mitia? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, stun all enemies. Yes, that. Uh, that takes 15. Oh, that's. Oh, you know what? Let's do that again, because that worked pretty well. Okay, so we'll hit you. Ow. Alrighty then. Uh, I have apples. I'll eat those. What's in here? An ornate chest with an ordinary wooden box catches your eye. You grab the lid, but you can't lift it. Uh, use a lock. Pick? The lock is simpler than you thought it would be. It opens almost instantly. Tools, jewels, empty bottle. Uh, crates. Ashes. All right. Fallen ladder. Aha! Shortcut. Okay. Um. 
I want to go try to help that guy again. I know, I know, it probably won't work, but I want to at least try one more time. If the crowbar doesn't work, it doesn't work, but at least we tried. Hmm. Okay, that goes that way. All right. I'm not going to read through his text again just because it's we've done it twice. Um, uh, try and free him. You wind up and hit the chain between the handcuffs with your crowbar. Ow, you could have warned me first. You peer closely at the handcuffs. Even though you hit them straight on, there's not even a scratch. All right. I have tried everything I have the ability to do. Uh, main entrance. This is the exit. Uh, take out the key. The key fits perfectly in the lock. About time. Okay, that's the exit. This is a door. Workbench. Oh no. So, where's the alchemist? See that hole in the wall? He left the jail while you were playing around with the key. He's on page 84 now. Damn it. You should probably hurry or there might not be any potion left for you to deliver. What's he plan- what? Is he planning to drink it? You told me no spoilers. Alright. Bench. Okay. <gasps> Wait, we can make flyers. Yes. Exit. I want to go use the pliers. To um, see what that thing does. I am very slow in games. Uh, if people are watching this and you get annoyed, it takes me forever to play games, as you've seen in any game I've ever played, because I get sidetracked. Okay, uh, I'm not going to read this again because we already did it. Use the pliers to cut the cable. You cut the cable, it sparks and hisses. What are you doing, sir? I don't know. I cut that cable, though. Okay. This is a very cool game. I really like this. Um, I, I'm very... Like, they did a great job with the demo. It's very... Uh, the, the overworld is great. This, I was worried about this because I thought it was going to kind of be not bad, but like I was worried that like this part of the game would be boring um, just because it's very 2D, but it's very uh, sandboxy and investigative. I like it. Wait, was there anything? Barrels. Check the barrels for stuff. The barrels mark supplies and ingredients for Alexandra of Mitya's lab. It's empty. Okay, fair enough. I got a crowbar. I got pliers. I got a plant. Uh, alchemy cauldron. Okay, what do you have? You've seen an alchemy cauldron. There are various containers and books scattered around it. Judging by the smell, the last person to use it was making something highly corrosive. Read the alchemy recipe book. There are bookmarks all throughout the book. Guide to making acid. Corrosive acid. Green salt, blue sulfur, red lead. Try to make acid. You have all the components. The rest should be easy. Uh... Green salt. Bah. Oh, no, I got hurt. Um, okay. Oh man. I actually... Ooh, a laptop. 
A chemical spattered laptop sits on the table. Do you know how to work this? I've come across them in books before. They're not that complicated. Uh, examine the desktop. The desktop wallpaper is an ancient portrait of a woman. A caption underneath it says, Victoria Brominski, daughter of Esmond III, Bremen Museum, 1201. The only thing he has installed is a browser. That's it. A what? It doesn't matter. Open the browser. Uh, there are only two tabs open. First tab, Bremen burial sites, 12th century. He was looking for ancient burial sites. One to be exact, the grave of Victoria Brominski. She must have been his lover. So that's why he, he went in such a hurry to go resurrect her. That's why I keep telling you, you have to hurry. But I mean, I wouldn't really mind letting him reunite with his lover. Uh, emails between him and his boss from a month ago. He was trying to convince them to give him a gun. He said it would make it easier to see whether or not the potion of immortality was working. Reading, for twas hard indeed spilling blood with a blade, a most trying and foul business. How practical for him. So they let him use a gun in his experiments? Since there's no way to escape this laboratory, I wouldn't imagine his bosses, I would imagine his bosses didn't see a problem with it. You mean there was no way to escape, right? You look at the melted ball. Well, search history. What were you looking up? Hmm, this is his search history. Online driver's ed classes, plus a whole bunch of chemical names. To be fair, chemistry has made great strides over the last thousand years. All right, let's turn whatever this is. This ladder is blocked with a metal beam. Puddle of acid. This is going to hurt me. Someone melted the wall with acid. It seeped through across the floor, and there's definitely no way through. Okay. Read the recipe book. Uh, notes on salt. Never start with salt and never end with... Oh, my God. Okay. Breaking out my notebook. Well, that... <laughs> That's very clever. They did a good job. Uh, okay. Never start or end with salt. Green. Okay. Read the other notes. Uh, lead before sulfur means you'll suffer. And lead. Stray drops of acid seem to have eaten away most of this page. Okay, so we can't... Uh, lead before sulfur means you'll suffer. Okay, so what if we do... Try to make the acid. Okay, so what if we do... Okay, what if we do sulfur? Salt. And then lead. It worked. You made acid. Nicely done. Yeah, thanks. I made some acid. Can destroy any obstacle. Heck yeah. I guess acid's not gonna get us through acid, though. That'd be nice. It's like, I hurled acid at the acid and melted the acid so I could get past the acid. <laughs> Okay, uh, more dead people. Hi. No head. Well, that's probably why they're dead. Usually what happens. Stale bread. Metal. Ooh, the bread heals too. Interesting. You can feel wind blowing through the cracks in the brick. Uh, knock it down with a hammer. You raise the hammer, wind it up, and swing it into the bricks. And that sledgehammer is really good. Uh, an old note. Alexander of Miltia, the royal alchemist, has committed a brazen crime. The scoundrel brewed a potion for the king that he promised would grant him immortality, but it was in fact poison. I declare that the alchemist shall soon be beheaded, and his diabolical lair shall be walled up. Advisor to the late king, Esmond III. Okay. Seldor. I should have read what it said. Wait, let's... 
Oh, there's no... Fine, then. What's in here? Ah. Wait. Tools. I will take those. Thank you very much. Materials? What kind of materials? Oh. Oh, no. Stun. And stun. And slash. And slash. <laughs> what a good way to overcome your fear against spiders fighting against. I told you, I'm not afraid of spiders. You notice that your hands have stopped shaking. Well, in any case, I'm definitely not afraid of them now. Where do we go now? That metal door over there. Okay. Um... Can I melt any of this down? Blueprint. Plan for rebuilding the jail. Pile of ashes. Ooh. Locker. Locker. <gasps> apple? Trash? Yes. Yes to all of that. I'll eat the apple. Um, is the... Okay. What's in here? Okay. Uh, I kind of want to run back and melt some of this stuff down so we can get our ink back. Because... I have a feeling we are going to run into a fight. I don't think I've done everything right, but I feel, I feel like we didn't miss anything huge. This is very cool. Like I think this is going to appeal to a lot of play styles too. Um, let's see. Bottle of ink. Melt. Craft. Craft. And can't make any more. Okay. Bottle of ink. Restores 100 ink. Beautiful. All right. We're full of ink. We're full of health. We've got crowbars. And it's very, very cool. Like, I really like this game. I hope the, um, I hope it does well. I'm very, like, I'm kind of sad that this is a demo. I wish this was a full game that I could play, honestly, because this is really cool. Um, oh wait, pile of ashes, metal, take that, all right, this door leads outside, there isn't even a lock or anything, how am I supposed to open it, it only opens from the other side, they had no intention of letting the alchemist leave, uh, splash the door with acid, you uncork the acid, a caustic smell fills the air, the papers on your head slowly shrivel and curl up, well if it worked for the alchemist it'll work for us. Uh, pour the potion on the door. You splash the contents of the flask over the door. Layer after layer of metal starts slothing off and dripping onto the floor. Impressive. Now let's get out of here before we're swimming in the acid. Okay, but... Bang, bang, bang. Did I just hear gunshots? Yes, and they were close. Hurry. Okay, but he's immortal. What are we going to do to him? Oh. Can I go this way? I'm gonna go this way. Oh, wonderful, a dead body. Well, that's super. The computer monitor is splattered with blood, but you can see an open file under the stains. I wanna see what this is. I'd advise you to hurry or we'll lose the alchemist. Reading report date 43145, progress potion A, potion of return to life, conducted by alchemists. Yesterday was unsuccessful. The subject's body has been destroyed. We only have four subjects left to put our research on hold for roughly two months. The alchemist has stopped obstructing the process. I think he's getting close to the report ends there. Looks like they thought he'd just hand the potion over willingly. Uh, open the email. 
final invoice for all work performed between January 2042 and August 2045. Near atomic environmental restoration for Project Jail, total area of 3,519 square feet, $14 million. Near atomic human restoration, samples, severed skull, 1403, 47 resurrection attempts, $18,300,000. They tried to resurrect the alchemist 47 times? Jesus. He cost them a pretty pretty. Uh, Chief of Security. I understand how important this laboratory is, and I can assure you that John has my full confidence. He was a security guard at Billary's head office, and before that, he was my personal bodyguard, so I literally trust him with my life. P.S. About the new doors between the science office and the testing facility, I assure you there is absolutely no way to open them from inside. With the locks like these, you'll hardly need John. Is John the dead guy next to me? Uh, rest assured, everything is going according to plan. Yes, reverse these services end up being more expensive than you expected due to additional attempts to reanimate the alchemist, but you will recoup those expenses in full. We already have reconstructed the jail. The rest is simple. Wait for the alchemist to rediscover the recipe for the potion of immortality. We were currently working to accelerate our access to human subjects. Hmm, we should have seen it coming. Evil rich men who want to live forever. It's pretty tired for them, even for a book as old as this. Okay, so the alchemist was resurrected. after betraying the king to make potion in the modern world. Okay. Well, he seems like not a very nice person since he's, you know, and that's a dead man. A visitor registration book filled out with neat handwriting. Do they have a gun? A guard. He's already dead. No. Oh. That was him. That was the alchemist. Are you sure? Yeah, after him. Come on, we can take that taxi. Hurry, follow that car. The driver gapes at you in horror. Damn, you should really pick a different appearance when you have to talk to people. Uh, change your appearance. You pick up a few drops of ink. Your features slowly lose their definition, and your face morphs into a completely different one. What even is that? Hello, you smile at the driver. The driver's mouth slowly opens, and he utters a choke cry that sounds more like a rasp. Your transformation must have scared him even more. We don't have time for this. The terrified driver offers barely any resistance. You get into the driver's seat and hang Roderick's over the rear view mirror. Uh, hurry and follow the alchemist. Let's roll. I love that they, like, the transformation is still my head's all like a bug. Very neat game. Very well executed. I'm really liking it. Um, okay, so the alchemist is... He, are, you, you're, are you dead, dude? The alchemist slowly crawls towards the entrance to the cemetery. It looks like the crash broke his leg in two places. And his arm. Almost there. Uh, watch him. He needs medical help right away. His leg is broken and... Oh no, I don't have time for that. You walk up to the alchemist and start rummaging through his pockets. But you can't just leave him like this. I'm not here for him. You find the potion bottle in the right pocket of his coat. I'm here for this. You hold the murky potion up to the light and examine it. Well, that's done. Vic Victoria. I I'm not Victoria. My name is Etienne. I'm going after he's talking about his lover. I'm almost there. The alchemist stubbornly stubbornly continues crawling his way towards the cemetery. His lover is none of my concern. You do realize that if you take the potion it'll disappear from the book forever, right? He succeeded in resurrecting his lover so many times over and over again, every time somebody read the book. And this cycle will be broken. This son of a bitch literally killed dozens of people for the sake of his experiments. But he's still a human being. He's a character in a book written by someone. He's not alive. I'm sure there's enough potion to go around. My orders are clear. Bring back the potion. Not half a potion or a third or anything like that. But your orders don't say anything about being full, right? I'm not risking failing this job just to save a fictional character. You do understand that the alternative to what I'm doing right now is literally 30 years of hard labor, right? 
Not every writer survives that, and those that do almost never go back to writing. That's what I have to look forward to. And I still say that we should at least... You shove the cage into your pocket, which muffles Roderick's voice. All you hear from him now is faint grumbling. That's enough from you. I don't intend to lose what I have for the sake of a character. Are you sure this is a good idea? If I try and trick my client, he'll terminate my contract. And then I definitely won't be writing for the next 30 years at least. Fine. You stride over to the trash can and find an em almost empty soda bottle inside. Pour out what's left. You pour half the potion of immortality into the bottle, which is still sticky from the sugary soda. Then you give the original bottle back to the alchemist. As you're about to hand the potion over, your bad knee makes a cracking sound much louder and stronger than before. Crunch. Damn. You suck in a breath. The bottle tumbles out of your hand. Time seems to slow down. Watch out! The potion continues its flight, and you fling your hand out, but there's no way you'll get there fast enough. The potion bottle makes a clinking sound as it lands in the alchemist's head. Ow! It clinks against him, bounces off, and flies back up into your hand. Oh, got it. What the hell? That's not how physics work. Whew. Guess I should probably see a doctor about my knee. You finally give the other half of the potion to the alchemist. The spark returns to his eyes, and you take the potion with a trembling hand, the one that isn't injured. Uh, leave the book. I did nothing to him. There's your potion of immortality. Don't want any of that. Immortality is nothing but trouble. I think the courier is waiting for me downstairs. Alright. Uh, I'm going to give my neighbor back his sledgehammer. Okay then. Maybe later. the item yes put the briefcase in the doorway do not step outside the door all right there you go you're welcome here's your payment we will be in touch I need to get some sleep. I'm exhausted. I want to return the sledgehammer that my neighbor lent me. Oh, the phone's ringing. Neighbor. Okay, he doesn't want to deal with me. I'm assuming... Hello? Hello? What did you deliver to me? The potion of immortality, just like you ordered. No, this is half the potion of immortality. And it's an old soda bottle to boot. I just thought, but it's still the potion though, right? It's just, I wanted to make sure the alchemist could. You're fired. Damn. Well. That didn't work. Guess I'll go to bed. Ha. <sighs> You can live here for now, partner. A month later. 
I feel like I didn't get enough sleep a month. I was asleep for a month? Oh yeah. I threw in a few ideas for my skills. Ooh. Shield. Two damage shield for one. That's pretty cool. Uh. Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, oh you finally... Mr. Quince? Eddie and Quist? Uh, yes? I'm calling from the Writer's Police Department. This is a scheduled call. Uh, okay. Have you selected the publishing agency where you will serve your sentence? Not yet. I'm still deciding. You do plan to begin working off your sentence, right, Mr. Quist? Yes, of course I do. I just wanted to take a little break before... We urge you to choose a publisher quickly. We also recommend Morak as the most suitable publisher for you. Sure, of course. You have the opportunity to shorten your sentence to 28 years if you can prove yourself to the management. 28 years? That's... That's a hot pile of garbage, that's what that is. Uh, next question, have you associated with any other writers since your arrest? No. No, I know it's not allowed. Very well, one last question. Have you engaged in any illegal activity in the past month? Of course not, noted. Do you confirm that your responses to this survey have been truthful? Yes. Thank you for your time, have a pleasant day. Goodbye. Hangs up. Uh, I wanna see what this says. New book announcements, age ad, uh, Hello? Hmm. Hi, Rich. Can you take another order? Oh, it's you. Another order already? Ah, damn. You're not rich. Sorry, wrong number. Hello, yes. But, you know, it's not a big one, so I guess I can give you one more chance. Thank you. Besides, I haven't been able to get in touch with most of my incompetent walker. Uh, you'll make a good replacement for him. Thank you. The order is at your door. Just want to read my newspaper. <laughs> New book announcement. Andre Duvall wanted to live a quiet life, get a good job, start a family, build a small house in the suburbs, but suddenly he finds himself involved in a deadly game of survival staged by aliens, and the prize winning is no less than the elixir of immortality. A brilliant novel full of live action that literally spills off the page right into the reader's face. Stella Quinn. Hmm. Please make sure you're home tomorrow from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. The furniture you ordered will be arriving door-to-door -door delivery. The order has been paid in full. Ooh. Mr. Quist, I'm writing this letter to express how deeply grateful I am for your books. In all of modern literature, I can... I never thought I'd find such interesting, truly lifelike characters with unique flaws and virtues, but in your novel, I don't even have the words to describe what it makes me think. I just give it all to my friends and insist no demand they read it. The world of your books is truly worse without you. I hope the misadventures you're experiencing won't dull your desire to write. Our whole little book club is waiting expectantly for new works from you. Sincerely, gratefully, and with love, Edna Rabier. Aw. Hello. I'll take you. I need to put this on the desk. Fair enough. Strange note, the contractor agrees to infiltrate the book The Spark of the Hammer by Torben Zakinski and extract an item, The Hammer of Thor. The commissioner agrees to pay the negotiated sum upon fulfillment of the contract. Excerpt from review. A solid work even though it seemed like it would have the imprint of a pure publishing project. What else would you expect from a heap of myths wrapped in the sparkling coat of a new look? I confess I couldn't even have imagined what some bright mind would be able to pick out of a shred of relevance such as ancient material. Spark of the hammer. All right. <gasps> it's 
It's a robot. Ow. Damn, sure is icy here. You look around. You there, Roderick? Yeah. Remind me what we're looking for? Some kind of hammer. Hold on, I'll check the book. Got it right here. We're looking for the hammer of Thor. Then let's go get it. And that's where the demo ends. That is very cool. I really, really liked that game. It was a lot of fun. Um, that is the demo for... And we're back in my library in the tower. Um... <laughs> That is the demo for The Bookwalker, which is going to be available June 22nd. That is an awesome game. I really, really like that. Um, I might look at doing a full stream of that game at some point. Um, I don't know. It's it's really fun. Uh, I love the overworld. I like how you jump between things. It runs really well. It's very, like... I don't like super, super, super puzzle games because I get lost and confused, but I feel like there's just enough puzzle there that I like it without it being too much. Um, very cool game. And I love that I get to use the library and get to play with this since it is a, uh, you know, a book-based game. Uh, so go check it out. It's on Steam. Uh, the trailer's amazing. I don't know. Maybe, maybe can, we, can we watch the trailer? I don't want to try to watch the trailer because I don't want to get in trouble. So um, we will... That's, I'm sorry it's a short stream today. Uh, I had some other things to do, but I really wanted to do that game in particular. So until next time, everybody, as always, play more games and be safe. Bye.